Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Beyond Galaxy Land. Doug, Rosie and Boom Boom and Mila, to be fair, they've all made it back to Earth. Although, it's not the Earth they remember, I'm sure. Let's see, let's explore. Wait, Doug! I almost forgot. Take this, I grabbed it from the train. You might need it. What is it, what is it? Power cell, okay. Maximum ability points increased by one. Cool. Thanks, Mila. That is good. Well, the more SP and AP we get, the more we'll be able to use people's abilities and summons and stuff without having to sort of give up turns to recharge them. Oh, okay, we're going past this. I don't think Earth is okay, you know. This? What is this? I'm sorry, Doug. But we've arrived on Earth. No. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, I... Oh, I... I... The end threaten us, threatens us all. Even Dreamcore runs from it. So it was true all along. True? What's Trez? We should, we should never have come here. I was fine in Galaxy Land before you showed up. I had moved on, Doug. I was surviving. I... I'm sorry, I just wanted... I... Uh... Love... You... Come in here as a mistake. I don't know who's talking, so... I'm going to voice them neutrally. Your arrival here was no mistake. Oh, it's Malefactor. Okay. Look around you. This is the world Dreamcore and Queen Zero have created for you. You! Stop following us! We don't need your help. We didn't want any of this. You don't realise it yet. But you're on the same path as Dreamcore. The very organization that placed us all in this mess. In fact, all of us are. Oh. What are you doing? You want to fight us? I thought you were helping us. You must be strong to survive this journey. If you want answers, you'll need to fight for them. Now show me. Show me how much you're willing to risk for the truth. Okay, we're fighting Malefactor now. Got a new sword, remember? I don't... I haven't even looked it up yet. I don't know how strong it is, but I presume it's stronger than our old one. <laughs> uh, well, he's human. I don't need to scan him. What abilities have I got? We could ask for a group. Yeah. Summons wise, he's oh, he's type black. I don't. Yeah, let's do a strong kick on Malefactor. Pow. That's too slow. Timings are hard on these sometimes. Uh, boom, boom. I don't think any of those are that helpful. We could slow Malefactor, that's probably not a bad thing to do. Uh, meanwhile, we could... Yeah, we could, um... Let's haste Doug. I'm just going to attack him. Nice. Oh no, we couldn't block that. It was an area attack. Now I'm gonna strength up on Doug, seeing as we've got him hasted and everything, so. Seems like a good idea. I guess we'll just attack. Nice. 
Hit him for a lot, but he's missing some as well. Oop, that's a nice dodge. Oh, just couldn't dodge the group area attack. Now, boom, boom, it's probably... Oh, we've only got nine. Uh, in abilities, though, he's got this one. Recovers a portion of the party's HP. So let's see what, let's see what this does. Oh, he blew a kiss. <laughs> so cute. Uh, how are we doing on health there? We could, we should try and steal from him. We can't do it now though, so let's just attack. Hard my dog. Someone's going past outside. Yeah, I don't think Dog can kill him, so... Okay, boom, boom. I don't want to kill this guy. I'd like for Rosie to try steal from him first. I'm actually going to give up his turn. So we'll get those ability points. And then we'll, we'll steal. Let's see what we get. Dark Crown. Well, that's got to be pretty good. Uh, and then Doug probably to kill him. Okay. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, I managed to block that somehow. I mean, we still blocked it. It still did a hell of a lot of damage. But he's almost dead, so... Blam. There we go. Well. Another couple of levels. I'll take them. He's up to 60 HP now, it's pretty good. Rosie's up a couple. Boom boom as well. Sharp and blade, that's cool. That might be for him. Good. You are strong. The part this path you will run. I took it myself. You must be ready to sacrifice. To make a choice far more difficult than one can imagine. But, perhaps you are ready. You're different than I am. Than I was. You want to get back home? I think it's probably a blade for Rosie, actually. To restore Earth to the way it once was? There's still a chance. The glass door. A doorway that drives dream cores every action. To enter it is to walk beyond reality. And to create your own. If you find it, perhaps you could return to the earth you once knew. I can only point you in the direction. Warp to coordinate 617959. That is where you may find answers. Then that's where we'll go. Good. You must walk this path on your own. It is your journey to discover. Mm -hmm. So season one, complete season one. So I guess probably part one, because it's not. It's not um. An episode, episodic game or anything. It's it's all one package. Season two, the glass door. Many many years ago, yeah. So hopefully we'll get like a little flashback again to the the guy at the very start of the game. We played this out before in the intro. I wonder if it'll play out a bit differently and what that might mean. Well, we're here again.
You're too late. So that is Malefactor. I wonder if it is the same character. Out of my way. Remember, you once stood by our cause. You will not receive my sympathy. Out of my way or be destroyed. We were foolish to hope we could convince you otherwise. Okay, so we've, did, we've done this fight already. Yeah, we'll skip battle. We saw this right at the beginning, so I don't feel a burning need to do it again. Probably the interesting part is what comes next. Don't you want to see what lies beyond? This is where you'll find it. This is not the way to discover the answers. You're wrong. But if you so believe yourself true, then head deep into the center chamber. You may still make it in time. Okay, let's push on. If indeed it is going to push on. Okay. Present day, three weeks since the discovery of the ruined Earth. Okay, so this is the same location, by the look of it. And we're arriving. Okay. Interesting. If all goes right, I should be able to reroute some of our drive's power to this old rust bucket of a ship. Hold on. And... Hey, the lights are on! Wow, for a ship that must be tens of thousands of years old, that worked exceedingly well. Although I'm not sure how long it will hold up. Thanks, Mila. I bet Rosie would have loved how creepy this place is. Where's Rosie? We'll come back as soon as we can. I really hope you find your answers, Doug. I'll be waiting right here. So no Rosie. Interesting. Gonna uh, save. And I want to have a look at that stuff we got in that fight against Malefactor. So... What was it? It was... Well, Sharpened Blade, I imagine, is for Rosie. Or maybe not. A sharp concealed weapon allowing for us... Large, oh, large chance to counterattack. Yeah, we'll swap out our pocket knife for a large chance to counterattack. Pretty good. And this one is increased strength by three. This one is nullifies dark damage. Hmm, that seems like it could be quite good. We haven't encountered dark damage yet, but that makes me think... Yeah, okay, I'm going to equip that because that feels like something that might, <laughs> that might be quite useful if and when it comes up. What's this? Energy cell. Take energy cell. Uh, oh, okay, it's a puzzle thing. I thought maybe it was going to be like an equipment thing. Uh, place energy cell? Oh, it's given us some platforms. Cool. And we're foreground now. I'll just go over here and check if there's anything to discover. Well, there's another, um, another energy cell, so we'll probably grab that. No, there's nothing over that way. Okay, so we'll come back out here. We're platforming. There we go, I expect we put that in. It's like quite a big jump, that. Hang on. Oh, no, we're good. Get boom, boom back. Eh, go on, we'll take the opportunity to save. Why not? Hello. Who are you? Uh, hey there, little guy. Hey, 
Hey, take it easy, we're friendly. Do something, Doug. We'll hit him. Okay, uh, boom, 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 um... Yeah, let's strength up on Doug. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is scan this guy. A Yombex. Okay, he's a blue type. Oh, oh we got both. Wow, cool. Okay, boom, boom. What else can we do? Slow him. Blue. Let's see if red uh, it crits on blue. It was big damage. It wasn't a crit, though. Nice. Oh, we counted for pretty good damage as well. Awesome. Um, I don't think we capture because I'm pretty sure he's another uh, character that we we can take with us. So um, let's just we'll, we'll attack him instead. Go and I think another attack that should be fight over. Okay, just run off. What was all that about? Hmm. Looks like you encountered some sort of hostile love form. Yeah, thanks. I think we figured that out. Strange, I would think a place like this would have been abandoned ages ago. Scavenger, maybe? Seriously doubt this ship can support life. Hey, at least you scared it off. Hmm, I hope so. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Good luck. Thanks! We'll save to get our stuff back. Seems we had a fight. And it's right here. Might as well. Have I got... I don't know if I have an energy thing. Maybe we can just use it. Activate. Yeah, cool. So we're following the same path Malefactor took. What the? We're slowing down. Mm -hmm. It seems we've lost power. Great. So what do we do? Your only option is to use your feet. This tunnel might stretch for miles. Oh, I can hardly see anything. Am I hearing this right? You lost power? To be honest, I wasn't sure how long that power would last. Just like we found out. Unfortunately, the bot is right. You have to head out the old-fashioned way on foot. Seeing as this is going to take a while. I'm going to zip out of here for the time being. I'll be back to pick you up later. Good luck. Okay, well... Let's just keep heading in this direction and trust we hit something. Yeah. Keep an eye out for Boom Boom tokens, because I don't think we're going to be back this way anytime soon. So we've got to go back for that one in the quarry that we missed the first time. Hello? Ooh, ladder. Look, an opening! You're right! It is! I'll go first! Oh, wow! Oh my, wow. Oh wow, you're not gonna believe this. One moment. There's a hatch up here covering most of this entrance. I'll push it all the way open. Ooh. So much adventure through here. And oh look, a ladder. Let's go this way. It's 
safe. What do you think, Boom Boom? Dark, scary alien tunnel? Or a bright, hopeful ladder? Light, bright. Light, less scary. Right, Boom Boom. Wow, Boom Boom, you're getting better at speaking every day. Just remember your name is Boom Boom, mine is Doug. Okay, Boom Boom. <laughs> right, let's head up the ladder. Ooh. Zalm Desert. Ooh. Can't believe how big this place is. Doug, there is a path over this way. A path? Whatever happened to this place being abandoned? Path, good. Path mean people. Sure does, Boom Boom. Let's get going. All right. Well, there's a chest here. We'll grab that. Craft a pocket knife. Okay, probably don't need to do that. Can I keep going this way? I can. We need to go the other way for our objective, and this appears to be a desert. So we'll see how far we get. No, he wants to go back. Doesn't look like there's anything else this way. So I think these guys have got to be a new type of life form. Yeah. So let's uh, let's grab snap of these. It's a shadow lark. Uh, no, we don't need new pictures of me and Boom Boom. Probably save. Have a chance to picture, uh, to snap a picture of those first. Boomy boom. Um, uh, you know what? Well, let's just uh, let's just shoot them. A square might, eh? Okay, well, I'm gonna scan these. We've got them in the database. Three attempts to get the timing right on that one. Good. Okay, this time I might do uh, might do strength up on Doug. He's gonna do a big hit, hopefully. In fact, why don't we uh, attack the group? One's dead, and we'll try, we might try and capture the other one, actually. So what I might do then with Boom Boom is... Maybe just end his turn to give Doug some AP. Mm, it's not enough AP, is it? Oh, let's end turn with him as well. Oh, he missed. <laughs> And turn again, just so we can make sure that Doug's got enough to attempt to capture. Yep. And we're not too worried about... Oh, he's missed the last two attacks. Not too worried about that, so I think we'll, we'll try a capture again. So we'll just, uh, we'll just end these turns. goes. Oh, a 
level 14. Very nice. Right, so let's see what what they do then. Oh, I've got an empty slot. Uh, okay, so the square mite, big bite, toxic spit. Well, that sounds like it could be pretty good. Might take him. And boom, boom. There's an empty slot as well. We must have gained. We must have gained a new slot then. Uh, let's give him the bolt elemental. Oh, there's another thing there. So let's try and capture a picture of it. Ooh. Stone golem. Okay, why don't we switch to boom boom? Ooh. And we'll do that. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to negate that. Hey, this is just like that fight on the train. Boom boom should use his negate ability. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so let's get rid of that square mite first, as we've, uh, we've captured my those. We need to get some uh, AP here. There we go, that was easy enough. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, so yeah, so let, we should be able to negate that now. I would like to capture him, but try a big taking a big bite out of him. <laughs> Killed him. Okay. I mean, Boom Boom is getting very low on health, so I don't think we could mess around too much with that. But maybe in the future. some stuff. Could you use another save point, ideally? Oh god, there's another one. Ah! Okay. Boom Boom's pretty low. Um. Can't really do much apart from attack. So let's, uh, let's go in on that stone guard. They hit hard. be an area attack, isn't it? Ah, it didn't do a lot. Well, it's poison, I suppose. Um, it's going to hit it, I think. And why don't we... Yeah, we'll do the one that doesn't use SP. Why not? That's <laughs> so cute. Oh, he's going to do that again, is he? Well, it's both, but... Oh, okay. At least it doesn't persist after a fight, the condition. Tends to go back for the save point, it's just I can see there isn't one coming up. Well... Let's just keep going for now. Move to the next room. Hopefully there's a save point fairly early on in this room. Not yet. Just wondering if we can get an attack on this thing before it attacks. I don't think so, but we're outpacing it. <laughs> oh, oh. I want to get to a save point before it can do anything. Uh, okay. Well, these guys aren't so bad, but... Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit both, I think. Well, all three, actually. Should hit all three. Not bad. Uh, boom, boom. Summon the armadillo 
Let's just rejuvenate himself for now. Doug's not too bad for health. Up too early. Great. Okay, well, we're going to try and capture that one again, I think. Uh, yeah, let's attack this guy. Ugh. Wait, it's better to kill one than just get another one low down. Right, yeah. Yeah, more poison, please. Why not? Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Um, I'm going to bring him back 100% health. Because Doug's low as well. His poison's bad. Did I not have... Oh, I might have given it to Rosie, the thing that protects against poison. Oh, Doug's down. Yeah, we're going to have to bring him back. Let's get rid of this square, mate. Um, I think we get a bit of health to Doug there. We missed. That's good. Now, can I? Well, okay, I can't I can't capture him because I don't have the AP for it. Don't really want to attack him. So I might just take another tonic. Okay, so I'm gonna end let's end his turn so Doug's got enough to attempt to capture. Got the block, which is good. these things failing on the first go. Hopefully we get a second go there. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. So I think it's probably worthwhile giving one of them this, uh, this toxic charm that I presume that we've got. Toxic Bracer. I think that'd be worthwhile. Okay. There's another enemy up here. I'd love to be able to get another shot off, but that'll do for now. Two of them. Okay. Um, well, I think we just got to attack one. Probably should have done the other one, I'd have killed it. Great, so I haven't got enough to remove that. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is end the turn and wait for... Boom Boom to get rid of at least one of these shields. Yeah, let's do it on the one that's almost dead, because then we can kill that easily enough. Starting to get the timing down for those a little bit. I've got enough. I actually do have enough. Let's negate that as well. actually have a lot of HP. I mean, they're strength. They're kind of high damage, but also they've got that shield thing, so that's kind of their deal. So 
So point, please. <laughs> Still nothing in sight. Got another one of these. I'm just gonna outpace it, I think. Oh, hang on. Can we shoot it with boom? boom? Oh, okay. I was thinking, is it on its own? Would have been rather nice. Uh, we could do a summon. What could we do? Can't bolt all. This is a shame, actually. Let's slow them all. Yeah, let's do that. a fair amount of damage, even though... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna... Let's attack that one that doesn't have the shield on yet. Wish you missed a couple. Yeah, I think we'll... Let's negate the one that's almost dead, because then maybe Doug can finish that off. Let's get him before he attacks again. Alright, let's negate that shield. So check out what our summon does actually. Stone golem that we got. And boom boom, finish it. There he goes. level, not quite. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look. I may have already looked. I don't think I did, but I may have done. Yeah, protect. So that would give us that shield, would it not? So that seems like quite a good one. I might give that to um, Boom Boom. Maybe instead of the Bolt Elemental? Seems more of, more of a support stuff. Um, and what's Dog got? Yeah, maybe instead of this this one, maybe I'll have the, the bolt elemental there. Like so. Okay, come on, really would like a save point now. <laughs> and we're hanging in there, but I wouldn't like to do too many more fights before we get to a save point. There we go. It's like this a town. That's gotta be a new thing, isn't it? What's that? Moo Makers! Okay. These things look like sheep. Zalm Village. Strange alien. Meh. Huh? Why can't I understand this thing? The Universal Translator only works with species registered in Galaxy Land. Who knows what this thing is? Okay, let's just keep looking for a way back beneath this desert. Okay, well, we'll take a picture of you guys, because I've no idea what you are. Grainers. Okay, well, there's probably not a lot of point talking to them, since we can't understand what they're saying. This guy looks like he, a trader. Oh, look what they've got, so... Oh, have I got to like, go back into the scenery or something? Can I go back? How do I... Ah, here we go. There we go. Right, let's come back this way now we've done that. So I want to go to that guy who looks like he's a trader. Me. 
me. Okay, any sales consumables? Summoning shooter, what does that do? Remove summons blocked status effect, only consumes half a turn. Probably we should have a couple of those. Since we don't have any at the moment. Um I think we should get some more of these. I've got quite a lot of money. I got ten, that's four. That's most of my money. It's not all of it though. I think that sort of healing would be good to have. Right, thanks! There's one little hat there. So, aside from shooting that thing, are there... Oh yeah, there's a path up there. So let's just check out what's down here first, I guess. This looks like... Oh, that's a way back down. Hey, this looks like another entrance beneath the desert. Let's try this way. I mean, yeah, but also I kind of want to see what's that way. Um, so why don't we go up this way first? Back in the desert. I kind of feel like maybe we should explore that hatch first then? Because it might be there's no way through, or there might be something down there that we need and then we go this way anyway. I can't imagine that they'd have this area that it, um, wouldn't ask us to go there. Now these guys in the background, are they something to... No, can't do them. Okay, so let's go down that hatch on, on reflection. See what's down there. I'm expecting there to, kind of, it to either be blocked or just have something that we need, but otherwise no way forward. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, we have a save point. This is uh, something that needs power. Can't get up there. I imagine when this is powered, that'll open up some platforms for us to get up there. And there's no way through here. Let's check it out anyway. This looks like one of those things from earlier. Yeah, except it seems to be missing an energy cell. Maybe find help up top, Boom Boom. Okay, good call, Boom Boom. Let's go check. <laughs> I love the way he calls us Boom Boom. Uh, there's that trick. There's, there's this. Oh, hello. Oh, what voice are we going to give them? Australian. You'd be amazed by the things you can find down there. But to explore it, you'll be needing a special item. My senses indicate the merchant might have what you're looking for. He's the one with the purchasable goods, if you didn't know. Hey, you attacked us earlier. What, um, who are you? Not going to answer, huh? Okay, well, thank you. We'll go try talking to the merchant. <laughs> Meh. Meh. He says that he's aware of what you're looking for. Whoa, how'd you get there so fast? He calls it his most precious jewel. He claims that those who use it to explore the world below never return. The merchant says he may be willing to sell the jewel, but he claims that to understand the risks you must first hear a story. I'll translate the story and embellish it with the words of an elegant spokesman. He asks if you've ever seen true beauty, true grace. If you've ever seen a flame that burns so bright it must surely be a star. He asks you to look behind him and witness such beauty. Witness his beloved I noticed that one with the funny bow on its head. Bessie. He says that she arrived one day, unlike the others in the flock. 
as she came soaring in, much like an angel might arrive from a distant world. He says that to look into her eyes... Well, it's hard to see her eyes when she's eating. Food, Bessie. Do you want food? Bessie, food? <laughs> he asks if you saw it. The fire that burns within her. Honestly, it's hard to see with all the hair and her eating the whole time. Bessie, food! Food! <laughs> he says that the people began to worship Bessie soon after her arrival. They started bringing her trinkets from the metal world below. Soon their gifts became more and more ambitious, and villagers had never returned from the metal world. I don't know what that was. One day, amidst news of another villager having failed to return, Bessie runs off, vanishing into the desert. People worried sick for her, having become addicted to her beauty. Oh, that's kind of Irish then. Then, on a particularly gloomy morning, we awoke to a billowing voice. To our shock, it was Bessie, who was speaking to us in a most beautiful cadence. She claimed that she no longer wished for our gifts, but instead for our people's safety. That our offerings had pleased her long ago, and now she asks us to seek answers within ourselves. To worship her own, our own beauty. From that day forth, no villager has stepped foot within the city beneath the sand, and no villager has gone missing. He wonders if, knowing this story, you still wish to buy his most precious jewel. If you still wish to venture below. If so, he requests that you stay the night here, so he may spend one last evening with his jewel. He'll arrange a place for you to sleep. Stay the night? I thought we were only listening to the story. Well, if that's what we got to do. Excellent. Then speak with the merchant when you wish to rest. I mean, we could. I'm tempted to explore a little bit further into the desert, though, because it looks like we will be going below. So let's see what's up this way before we commit. Probably more fights. Might even leave with Boom Boom, because if those things come up again, we'll want to shoot them from distance. Oh, hello. Oh. If we run away, hopefully it surfaces and we can shoot it. There it goes. Well, we got two of them. Oh, wow, okay. You gonna do the same thing? All right. Well, let's uh, let's shoot the one that hasn't shielded up yet. All right. We're gonna attack that one as well. Hopefully, get rid of it before it can shield up. There we go. Hey, boom. Um. Let's just get rid of that thing before it spits any poison. Oh. Well, what did I say? At least Boom Boom's immune to it. He might miss dog. He's missed dog a few times. Not that time, though. All right, let's get a square, mate. Missed time that. Oh, counted, though. Not that it did very much with his shield up. Um, well, we'll negate that, obviously. Timed it badly, and he missed as well. Okay, well we okay. We need to get um, let's get the mint shooter on Doug before he downs. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of these big big heels. I think get him almost back to full. Dip. Uh, yes, yeah, shoot him. Let's 
good to get that stuff going up. I'm assuming this leads somewhere. <laughs> it might be endless. I assume at some point we'll come up to a wall in this... Oh, hello. Yeah, what's this? This might be saying, like, go no further sort of thing. Oh, okay. No, we'll stay. There was something here. And there's a save point, and there's whatever this is. I'm going to imagine we can't go through... We can go through this. What is this thing? Maybe it's just the... Is that a creature? I don't think so. Like a flower. A strange flower growing here. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, but let's pick it. We did just save. Are you sure about this? I'm sensing a powerful presence. Let's do it. We won't lose any progress if things turn bad. Desert Rose. Yeah. Okay. Oh crap. What is that thing? Um. Okay. I think we need to scan it first so we kind of know what we're dealing with, but like. It's a bit of a waste of a turn, obviously. Crimson Deathclaw, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we can do with the summons here. Maybe, um, Protect Doug. Oh damn, that's done that as well, is it? Wow. <laughs> we, we are not equipped to deal with this. Uh, okay. Um, I can't get that shield off because Boom Boom's dead. I have to bring him back. He's dead again. I think even if he's, I think even if he blocked that, I'm pretty sure he's he's dying. So, uh, we do any damage to it? Very very small amounts. That's probably me dead. Yeah, that was with the protector. One hit kill. So yeah, I think that battle might be unwinnable. <laughs> Luckily we saved. Um, so we'll go back. We tell you what, we won't pick the rose this time. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going on a bit and uh, seeing what's there. Uh, yeah, this one. Hey, do boom, boom. That was a crazy dream, wasn't it? Where we picked that rose and died instantly. Um, let's see what's further on this way for next. Oh, look, there's a... Uh, it's a boom, boom token. So good thing we did. Then we got that. Half 50%. And we know where there's another one, the quarry on Eros. Hopefully we'll get back there at some point. But I think we... So what was that purple thing that was here? It's gone now. Huh. No idea. Um, but I think we probably return to the village, though, having seen what was out here. Probably talk to that merchant then. Or I can hit him in the face. Nah. Oh. I sent her to skip the dialogue box. I think maybe we're resting for the night anyway. <laughs> Looks like it. Do you mind? Mind what? You're giving me a look that tells me there's something you wish to say. For a master warrior such as myself, this is easy to sense. 
Would you care to share? Uh, all right, what's your name? Do you have a name? Mine's Doug. They say you can tell a lot about a species in regards to that question. My people used to say that of organisms, there are two types. Those who care to have a name, and those who are unaware why such a thing would exist. The difference? Never get close to those without names. Perhaps it shows a lack of connection, a connection I assume you humans likely need to survive. Okay, well, my name is Doug. That's very good. And yours? Okay then. Should we ask it again? What's your name? <laughs> Mine's Doug. Okay, it's just going to repeat. I thought maybe we could annoy him by asking it enough times. Maybe he'd just tell us. But uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I'm sure we'll learn in the fullness of time. All right, where are you from? Okay, well, I'm curious. Are you from here? I'm not. Okay, so where are you from? Well, I'm here trying to find answers. Yes, yeah, you're searching for answers down below. Already knew this. You humans think you're all so unpredictable. The reality is really quite the opposite. Okay, well, why are you here? <laughs> Not going to answer again, huh? Are you always just going to go silent when there's something you don't want to talk about? What else would you suggest I do? Alright, well I guess we'll rest them. Okay, I think it's time for me to get some sleep. Do you sleep? Are you like nocturnal or something? A warrior must sleep, but not as much as you. Okay, well, see you in the morning. Wait, you may call me Pablo. Nice to meet you, Pablo. Good night. Good night. It's a human thing. Oh, it's a human thing. Oh, I see. Then let us have a good night. So the rumours of human love and their rest is true. You must know it, you know it as well into the following day. Well, actually, sleep is supposed to be one of the most important parts of a human's protective of their sleep as well. Interesting. I wake you because the merchant needs our help. Please find the strength to rise and join me in his assistance. Me, me. He says his beloved Bessie's run off, vanished like an angel in the night. Me. You can't bear the pain. He asked that you please help him search. Oh, we can do that. I'll help as well, for Bessie means much to me. Awesome. Thanks, Pablo. That's very kind of you. Let's go find Bessie. Yeah, it looks like she's gone off to the Oasis, huh? Okay, well, that probably seems like a good place to leave it. I might just take a quick look at um, Pablo here in terms of his equipment and summons. So we could give him... I think we'll give him all of these. We'll give him Killer Wasp, uh, Long Legs, and Penguin. In terms of his equipment, he's got Butterfly Staff, double-sided bladed staff, capable weapon in the right hands, increases strength by two. He already has an SP booster, so yeah, maybe. Energy Necklace, probably good for him to have too. Um, what else have I got that might be good for him? Nothing here seems to do blind on the basis of what we've seen. We could increase his strength further, that's probably a decent idea. And maybe the HP booster. It's only 10% though, that one. What's his strength like compared to... Well, I can't really compare it to Doug here. Just wondering if I give him another energy necklace and just get off a load of shots. Like kind of what his role is going to be. Let's give him some health up. There we go. Cool. Okay, well, we're going to journey on with uh, Pablo in the next episode. So I'll just say thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode. I'm, I'm having a great time with this game. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts, people who are watching it as well, if you're enjoying it as much as I am. 
Um, and if you're watching this and not yet subscribed to the channel, if you could do that, that would be amazing. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.